Hi everyone, I'm Marco Rudolf and here I introduce our work Asymmetric Student-Teacher Networks for Industrial Anomaly Detection. This is a joint work between the Linköping University and the Institute for Information Processing at the Leibniz University of Hanover. First I want to introduce our problem. We want to detect if a product is defective from a RGB or depth image, which is important to ensure product quality and safety standards. Now, if you want to acquire data to train a model on this task, you will meet some problems. Many defects are rare and in the beginning you may have no single defective example. Even if you would, there could come up new defects after time. Due to this lack of data, a supervised classification is not helpful or applicable for defect detection. This is why you have to perform a one-class classification, also known as anomaly or novelty detection. Here you only have access to one of the classes in training, which is in our case the class of non-defective products. In testing, the classificator should decide whether a given sample is a member of this class. Our work is based on student-teacher networks. First, the student is trained on a pretext task. After that, one or several students are trained to match the teacher's output. This helps for normal detection, as a student can match the teacher's output well on normal data, but hardly on anomalies, since it has been trained only on normal data. Past work make use of this mechanism by utilizing the student-teacher distance as an anomaly score. We discovered a problem for conventional student-teacher networks in the context of anomaly detection. In past work, student and teacher had the same or a similar architecture. This leads to an undesired generalization of the student to the teacher, such that the distance is still small for anomalies. This motivates us to asymmetric student-teacher networks. As a teacher, we use a normalizing flow, which is trained to estimate the density of the defect-free data. As a student, we use a conventional CNN. This is an overview of our pipeline. For pre-processing, we obtain features of the RGB image with a pre-trained feature extractor. Optionally, we also take the depth image where we regroup the pixels to match the feature dimensionalities and extract the foreground. The data from both domains is then concatenated and feed it to the teacher and the student network. The teacher is trained via maximum likelihood training by minimizing the negative log likelihood loss. The student is trained to minimize the distance between its output and the teacher's output. If the foreground mask is available, the loss is only applied on the foreground. Furthermore, repositional encoding is used to enable the detection of misplacements. This illustrates the architecture of student and teacher. For normal data, the student is sufficiently flexible to match the teacher's output. Since the teacher is a bijective network, its output is sensitive to every input change. This output cannot be predicted by the student on anomalies. These are random projections of the output of student and teacher for non-defects on the left and anomalies in the middle. As clearly visible, the distance visualized by the lines is much higher for anomalies, which is supported by the histogram of distances on the right. The anomalies can be localized by visualizing the distance for every spatial position. On the right, we can see a visualization of this map, which is pretty close to the ground truth annotations of the dataset MBTEC 3DAD. On the left, we report quantitative results for this dataset. We set a new state on the art on all data domains, having a large margin to past work. Thank you for your interest in our research. Code is available on GitHub.